John Aislaby was a remarkable fellow. He was part of a group of early Georgian garden makers who wanted to create an English style. He was followed by his son William, who took up the baton and gardened on into the abbey and beyond. I'm Mike Risdale and I'm head of the landscape here at Fountains Abbey and Studley Royal. I'm often asked what is my favourite part of the garden. Well actually it's the seasonality of the garden that I really do enjoy. When you think about the start winters here at Studley and the evergreens that are contrasting with the blankets of snow and then we see the first signs of spring with snowdrops moving into primroses and then the real stars of the shore are our wildflower lawns in the summer. Many of you will be familiar with the ruins of Fountains Abbey, but it might surprise you to learn that it's actually the Georgian Water Garden that is designated a World Heritage Site. In the early 18th century, John Aislaby, along with his contemporaries, designed what was to become the Wonder of the North. We're here at the Banqueting House. This was one of a series of buildings that John Aislaby placed in his early 18th century garden. From here you will be able to see other follies such as the Octagon Tower and Temple of Fame. I think Fountains Abbey in Stuller Royal is an amazing place. It allows you to step back in time and experience the life as the Georgians once did. And that's why I love it so much.